the Lord say restoration restoration of anointing giftings graces seasons that you have lost the things you used to have and function in with ease and suddenly at some point it begin to go back it begin to diminish the Lord said he will fill your horn with oil he will fill your horn with oil he will fill your horn with oil he will restore <laughs> In Jesus' name, let's 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 look at the word of God. Very important. If you look at, let me read it. Verse nine: Command Aaron and his sons, saying, "This is the law of the burnt offering." I don't need to say much. If already, if you already know that the emphasis here is, it's after me, law. My my focus is not. <laughs> my focus is not about. Who the law was given to my focus is the fact that for better understanding in case you have a problem with the word law just remove law put principle this is the principle are you with me this is the principle of the bond offering he said it is the bond offering this is what makes it the bond offering remember the theme of this meeting is burning altars it is the bond it is a bond offering because of the burning what upon the altar all night unto the morning and the fire of the altar shall be burning in it so you cannot say you are on fire for jesus when you are inconsistent god will come and place a demand on your life and say give me 30 minutes in the night and you do it today the next time you do it is two weeks later and you say you are on fire you are not on fire god will come and say give me just one hour of bible study just once one hour per day and you cannot do it and you say you are on fire you are not on fire the way we know people on fire is according to this the power to be consistent the name that i can give it in contemporary terms is is the tarrying power the tarrying grace you will never see the hand of god in a dimension that will turn the tides in a generation until you become consistent in doing one thing in the spirit if it is prayer you will not know the power of prayer until you pray for long and then the power will begin to come when a man just reads the bible and studies it for 15 minutes he doesn't know the power in the world you can't know the power in the world until you sit one place for 15 hours 20 hours you are sitting with the world where are you in a hurry to live the one you left last time nothing has changed and you are living again he said that it is the law of the bond offering because of the blood in there all night till the morning the fire will not go off a man comes to that and leaves tomorrow tomorrow they are begging you to come to church such a man doesn't know the way of the altar he's 
power is so strong he cannot change the course of things in his family and in his life men that depend on his destiny he cannot cause a change of alignment today fire will come on your altar and the spirit of consistency will be imparted heaven is crying and they are saying when will the sun arise and remember and realize that what it takes to download and host god in a generation is not doing anything new it is still the same thing that has been done if only you can be consistent in it you have to be consistent too huh? else power will not come it takes consistency to bring out a power that is in a matter prayer prayer there is prayer power gosh Katas, fear kate. we come to the gates we come to the gates that answer to our names in the spirit and we command the counters to come we command the power of God to come. We command from the office of my calling. Dead altars will come alive. Listen to me. Many of you under the sound of my voice, such as I have, is what I'm giving to you. I'm not coming to preach a message I just read in the Bible. I tell you of the dealings that God has given to my life. God has brought me to through many waters. And many times he will keep me in one place and he will say, Don't preach, don't say anything, just tarry, tarry. And one time I wanted to leave, he called me Chine to come here. He said, Eat and drink, for the journey is far. The journey is great. Young men and women, it's time to tarry with Jehovah. Because what we need to conquer a generation is altars. No normal altars, daddy. Altars on fire. Altars burning. Altars with sacrifices. Altars with incense. Ascending. Ascending. Ascending the high places of God. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. 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 Here, here, here. Listen to me. You see, when Jesus left, it was not obvious in the beginning that the apostles of Jesus learned a lot from his ministry until when he left. Remember that the scripture began to teach us something in the book of John that he reached a time and Jesus called his disciples and said, Come and watch with me in prayer for one hour. His disciples were not able to do it. He said, what will happen is that my regime will be phased out and another regime will come. Aye. As I speak now, I feel a fire in my head. And once I feel that fire, it means that God wants to baptize men into apostolic graces. Listen to me. You see, you see, there is something about the apostolic. It has the capacity to break through grounds that is, that, if, you see, let me make it this way places and things that people are afraid of that is normally hard that you normally lose heart when you remember it when the apostolic comes it is bread to eat it, 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 it is a heavy duty dimension of your calling huh? everybody might not be an apostle but everybody must be apostolic everybody might not be a prophet but everybody must be prophetic that one is certain and this oil that i'm feeling on my head now uh, many of you will be baptized into the same grace and then there is a there is an engine that will be planted in your heart there are certain things you cannot attempt for god with this capacity engine that you have imagine we're trying to power this program with tiger generator with all our sincerity tiger generator cannot power this program 
we need to find a lister we need to find a higher capacity generator that is what the apostolic does it does a work that should have taken three years he can do it in a moment so god is looking for young men and women to break the powers that has held the campus down ah! they will rise on the energy of that where they say don't go that is the place they will go they will collect calls from cultists you will think they need to grow no 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 they, they, they don't need to grow all they need is just two years of discipleship and then something comes on them pastor i'm asking a question how is it that this man followed jesus three and a half years and they became apostles what kind of training did jesus give them that makes a man an apostle after three and a half years we need to reorient ourselves and give ourselves to the routines though it may be hard but we will submit to those things can you pray for one minute anywhere you are pray for one minute pray for one minute pray for one minute
Say after me, Father, give me fire on my altar. I didn't hear you. Say after me, Father, give me fire on my altar. There is a reason why it is called burning altar. That means there can be an altar and there is no burning in it. The scripture spoke about John. He said that John is a burning and a shining light. You shine, you burn. The burning of a man prevents many things. We keep our purity, our holiness by burnings, burnings, the coals. It is not the energy of the flesh. It is not the rules of man. It is the organic workings of the spirit within us. The Holy Ghost is making us behave the way we are behaving. Huh? There are certain things we cannot touch. Not because they said don't touch, but because there is a government within us. The government that came as a result of the burnings of the coals. In the book of Isaiah, the scripture said that the angel Seraph flew and brought coals from up the altar and touched him and said they are, that are pushed. How can you how can you be a young young believer, young man of God, young, and you are given to masturbation, given to pornography, given to fornication, given to all kinds of perversion? You you need your you can't that kind of person cannot say he has a burning altar. You need help, urgent help. You know, you know, as I'm saying this, some of you will be feeling as if I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to a majority of you. If you receive empowerment on top of this thing, it doesn't matter the man of God that released the empowerment. After some time, it will drain like battery. The thing drains like battery. It's not as if you will die. You will not die, but it will drain you. And once you are drained, the potency of your calling, the potency of your destiny will be drained away. You will be laboring, but you are laboring on the energy of your humanity. Because a man is supposed to labor by the help of the Holy Spirit, by the grace that is administered by the Holy Ghost. The office of the Christ that is tabernacled in the heavens of God is a function that comes from the ascension realm. It means that it is not possible for you to access the possibilities of that office until something rises from ground level and ascends to the heights of God. Even though you are seated with Christ, but the release of the ministry, the release of the anointing, the release of the graces, the outpouring of the Spirit is a possibility that is captured within the ascension realm. When the scripture was speaking in the book of Acts chapter 2, it, it, was, it was Peter that was giving a testimony. He said that this Holy Ghost that you see shed forth, it is a testimony to a fact that that same Jesus is what now? The Lord and what? The Christ. Meanwhile, he said that Jesus ascended and received the Holy Ghost of the Father and now shed it forth. It will mean that the outpouring of the Spirit is, as, is, is a product of the ascended realm. So even when Jesus rose up from the dead, the Holy Ghost was not yet sent. He has to leave them there at the upper room and ascend. It is ascended possibility. It will mean, remember, that the reality of the believer is captured in Christ. Our reality is in Christ and if there is any execution from our life, it will be an execution from Christ. That, remember when you read the book of um, Ephesians chapter 1, the scripture was saying then in 9, 10 and 11, that there is a purpose that is captured within the heart of God and that purpose is as a result of the will that he had and that will is as a result of the desire or pleasure that he had and that thing is called the mystery of his will and what God intends to do is that in the dispensation of the fullness of time he will sum all things up in Christ now even though all things is summed up in Christ meaning that the execution of that purpose is in and by Christ Meanwhile, God wants to incorporate man in that plan. He now said, in whom we now have an inheritance. It is that inheritance that we have in Christ that allowed us participation in the execution of the plans and purposes of God because the ambience of that execution is Christ. And except a man finds himself within that, 
that ambience he will not be a participator in the execution so for God to bring us into participation he gave us inheritance in Christ so when we step out in Christ to execute something even though we are the ones doing it but as far as God is seeing it from the eternal point of view he is seeing Christ extending his, his ministry extending his project he's not seeing individuals like Pastor Abba no he's seeing Christ that we mean if that is true it will mean that the facility in us that that is leading towards the execution of God's purposes is is the Christ in us now this is it there is a point where we are in Christ and there is a point where Christ is in us and that is why the Bible said in the book of Galatians chapter 4 verse 19 he said my little children of whom I travel in bed again until Christ be formed in you you see there is one thing in is being a part of the body of Christ another thing is being a functional part of the body of Christ functionality the degree and measure of functionality is dependent on the measure of Christ that has been formed in a man that is why the Bible said in the same Ephesians chapter 4 he said now this is talking about the corporate expression of the body of Christ he said till we attain to the fullness of the stature of Christ that is the expectation that is the perfect man that has become an example and a standard that has been set for a believer so when we begin to execute our purposes on behalf of God or rather when we begin to execute our life meanwhile it's God that is living it in us the extent to which we can execute it is dependent on the measure of Christ that has been formed inside of us meanwhile the possibilities that God is trying to execute or administrate through us now I want to say one thing so that you will know the prayer we are about to pray so that something will come on you not land on anything also land on something concrete don't just don't just so that if you go here you are not just in vague of what you received so that you can go and level on it and it will blossom the the administration of God the the economy of God in the new covenant is Christ and the economy of God is how God intends to administrate himself eh? God does not work with anything except himself and he has brought himself in such a way that is administratable and that dimension is Christ so if we come and we want to execute something and it is God that is working if it is truly a work then it is Christ that worked and it is Christ that is worked it is Christ that works and it is Christ that is worked and these possibilities are, are products of the ascended dream so when a man comes and stands and he says he wants to pray prayer is not from ground prayer is from up so you have to ascend because the administration of the capacity that a man receives of the spirit to pray if you want to pray by the help of the Holy Spirit it is not on ground that facility is given to Christ and that is a facility of the ascended realm so that man have to gain ascension in the spirit and from that plane he will begin to pray as Christ would have prayed so when a man is ever quickened the quickening capacity that we retain in our soul is a proof that Jesus is ascended that is an economy of the ascended dimension of God so if we live believers in the last days with the powers of the age to come we will live every jot of our life and day from the administration of that ascended dream you pray from ascension you study from ascension you evangelize from ascension yes, sir. because the powers of of our faith is ascension the Holy Ghost was not given except from ascension Jesus ascended high above every everything then he shed for the Holy Ghost can you understand what I'm saying now yes, because sir. you are we are going to pray and God is going to release something upon your life and when he releases it one of the things you will begin to notice is that your life will change you will receive the capacity to tarry and I want you to nurture it are you ready now so you are going to ask God to give you fire on your altar that thing helps you to maintain perpetuity in a high place high place it's not today you are on tomorrow you are off if an apostle comes to unn wait if an apostle comes to unn you are now on fire for that one week that he came after the one week you now go down 
you don't know what we are talking about. You need to, you need to encounter the tarrying grace, the tarrying power. <laughs> Lift up your hands everywhere you are. Ask God. Just stand up if you can. Except the, uh, just stand up wherever you are. Lift up your hands and ask God to give you the tarrying power. Fire upon your altar now. Praise Jesus, 